Hi, this is Scoggett, and today what I'm going to be talking about is uh, different types of woods uh, for smoking meats. I had uh, several viewers uh, send me uh, emails and uh, PMs wanting to know if I could make a video on uh, the different kind of woods out there and like uh, what flavors they will make the meats taste like. So that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to touch on uh, the different type, types of woods out there used for uh, smoking meats uh, and uh, also like small game birds, fish, etc. I'll get started in, and uh, uh, with the uh, alder wood. Alder is a very delicate with a hint of, hint of sweetness to it. If you ever smoke with alder, uh, it's good for smoking uh, fish, poultry, pork, and uh, small game birds. Uh, then there's almond. Almond has a nutty sweet flavor to it. And it's good with all meats. Then there's apple. Uh, slightly sweet but denser, uh, fruity smoke flavor. Kind of has a fruity uh, flavor to it. And it goes with uh, beef, poultry, game birds, pork, uh, particularly ham. Uh, apple is very good if you're smoking ham. Apricot, uh, milder, sweeter than hickory. It's a, it's a milder uh, wood than a hickory. And it's good with most meats. Birch, uh, medium hardwood with a flavor similar to maple. Kind of got a kind of maple flavor to it. And it goes good with uh, pork and poultry. Cherry. Uh, slightly sweet taste, uh, mildly smoke flavor, and it goes good with all meats. Then we have a chestnut. Uh, if you're up in the UK, this is probably pretty plentiful, and it's a slightly sweet, nutty smoke flavor, and it goes good with all meats. A uh, grapevine. Uh, that's the the vines from the grapes. Like like if you grow on grapes and the uh, grapes the vines dry out, you can use them to uh, smoke uh, uh, meats also. Uh, it's aromatic and uh, similar to uh, fruit woods, and it goes good with with most meats. Uh, it's not really a a wood. It's like I say, it's the vines from the grapes. Hickory, which is my favorite, uh, it's really the only kind that I uh, use, and it's a pungent, uh, smoky, bacon-like flavor, uh, and it's the it's the most common wood used, one of the most common woods, and it's good for smoking meats, especially porks and ribs. I smoke it on any everything. I smoke uh, fish with it. I smoke uh, chicken with it, turkey with it, uh, you name it. Uh, it's really my wood of choice. I rarely use any other wood than hickory. I, I love the taste of hickory and what it produces on meats and uh, fish and everything else. Then we have Jack Daniels woods, and uh, it's made from uh, uh, the barrels, like the Jack Daniels barrels, and it has a distinct flavor uh, to uh, beef and poultry. It's good for smoking all meats, uh, especially uh, pork ribs. A lot of people buy the uh, Jack Daniels uh, wood chips. You can also buy the chunks, I think, like the they're a little bit thicker than the than the chips, and uh, it has like a kind of a whiskey taste to it. I've used it before, and uh, really myself, I didn't care for it. I, like, like I say, I like the hickory, but. Yeah, it has a distinct uh, flavor to it uh, because the barrels are made of oak and the, when the whiskey sits in there, it penetrates the oak and that's where the uh, flavor of the whiskey comes from. Lemon, uh, 
has a medium smoke flavor with a hint of fruitiness. And it's excellent for beef and pork and poultry also. Maple is mildly smoky, somewhat sweet flavor. I've used maple before and uh, makes the meat taste a little bit sweet. Not a whole, whole lot sweet, but it's there. And uh, it goes good with pork, poultry, cheese, vegetables, medium, small game birds. Uh, so it's it's pretty versatile type of wood. Adds a sweet flavor to it. Mesquite is a has a strong earthy flavor, and uh, it's good with most meats, especially beef and most ve vegetables. And around where I live in Tornado Alley, Texas, mesquite is real common. You see mesquite trees in you everywhere. There, uh, you can pick up mesquite wood, uh, just. Yeah, just about everywhere you go, you can find mesquite. It's not like uh, it's it's real scarce or anything because around where I live, it's it's everywhere. You have mesquite trees like growing out everywhere, and the branches break uh, when we have the storms and wind storms. And you can find them laying in the street. You can find them uh, laying in the, on the country roads, county roads, and just gather some of that up, cut it up, and you can use it. That's if you like mesquite. Me myself. I prefer hickory. Uh, mulberry, mulberry is another type of wood, and it's got a sweet uh, smell to it, and it's got a kind of got an apple apple smell, like kind of that of an apple. Kind of reminds one of apple. Goes with beef, poultry, game birds, pork, and particularly ham. Uh, mulberry is also good uh, for smoking hams. Nectarine. Uh, Flavor is mild and sweeter than hickory. Uh, good for most meats. Oak, which is like a white oak. One of the most popular woods, and it has a heavy smoke flavor. Uh, good with red meats, pork, fish, and heavy, heavy game. By heavy game, uh, we mean like, uh, uh, say, ducks. Uh, bigger, bigger uh, birds. I've used oak before and really didn't like the the taste of it. Like I say, I'm, I'm a hickory man myself, so uh, I just stick with that. Uh, I haven't tried other other woods. Uh, olive, olive wood, uh, smoke is similar to mes mesquite, but distinctive, like lighter. has a lighter uh flavor than mesquite, and it's uh, delicious with poultry. Uh, olive goes perfect with poultry, which I can see why, because if you ever uh, uh, smoked a, uh, say, a chicken or any type of poultry, and you put olive oil, oil on it uh, to help it brown up, then it has a flavor to it. Orange is another uh, wood. Got a medium smoke flavor with a hint of fruitiness. And it's excellent with beef, pork, and poultry. Then we have uh, peach, which is slightly sweet, woody flavor. And it goes good with most meats. Pear, uh, slightly sweet, woody flavored. Uh, kind of similar to, to the peach. Goes good with uh, poultry, game birds, and pork. Pecan, similar to hickory, but it's the it's not as strong as hickory. Uh, pecan, if you ever use pecan to smoke a turkey, it makes a beautifully brown uh, turkey. That's good good for most meats. Me myself, I don't like the smell of pecan whenever it's uh, smoking. I just don't care for the smell of it. I've used it before. I had a friend give me pecan uh, wood and. I just, like I say, I just don't care for it. Uh, plum and prune has a mild uh, flavor, sweeter than hickory. And it's good with most meats also. And uh, English uh, walnut has a very heavy smoke flavor. If you use this, it's got a very heavy smoke flavor. 
uh, and you need to mix it with uh, another type of lighter wood, say uh, pecan or say apple, because if not, it can leave a better, bitter taste on your food. It's, uh, if used alone, it can be bitter. Uh, that's a walnut. And it's good with uh, red meats and game. But if, just remember, if you use, uh, like the English walnut, it's got a, and just use it, you're going to have to mix it with some other type of wood or else it's going to come out with a real pungent, uh, bitter taste on your food, and you don't want that. Uh, that's a few of the woods that I know about and uh, I thought I'd pass that on to you. I had, like I said, I had viewers send me a PMs and emails saying uh, what kind of wood would match certain uh, foods with uh, and what kind of flavor do they produce. So hopefully this will help, help everybody out where they'll get an idea of uh, uh, the different woods. Uh, most common woods uh, used for smoking is uh, pecan, hickory, uh, mesquite, and uh, apple and Jack Daniels. Those are uh, really the most common what people use. Oak also uh, is another one. I hope you enjoyed this video and I uh, hope it was informative for you. And... Uh, Oh, and something else, I've, I left out one, what's uh, a cedar. Uh, you can get, like, if you're smoking salmon, they have uh, cedar planks. What you do is you just uh, soak these uh, cedar planks until they're good and, good and wet, and just let them soak, and it'll absorb the, the moisture. Then you just uh, put the whole plank and everything with the salmon on the, uh, smoker and let it smoke uh, after the uh, the smoke from the cedar will penetrate the salmon and once it gets uh, uh, smoked and ready you can use the cedar plank as a uh, to cut it up as a display and it looks pretty neat I've used cedar planks before and the taste is uh, not bad but I prefer hickory I like uh, the bold flavor what the hickory does to the salmon and and I'm just like I say a hickory man so uh, I guess I'll never change but uh, people out there if, if you want to experiment try these different woods because uh, every one of them is good I mean every one of them will uh, fit your taste and uh, pairing wood with uh, uh, like meats it's kind of like preparing wine with foods. It's got the same uh, same thing to it. I appreciate you watching the video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you smoke something, just keep in mind uh, the flavors and what they pair with, and you'll do fine out there. Uh, leave a comment whether you like the video, whether you don't like the video. And y'all take care.